a competitive uh, is the best thing first and foremost with him. Uh, you know, a tackle through high school, uh, you know, Jack moving at guard. He figures out a way, competes, um, and, and really works hard at, um, you know, doing well and, and knowing exactly, you know, we land the plane in, in, uh, in Alabama and, and we're heading to the hotel and he's hitting me up with questions about scenarios that he's playing through in the game uh, in his mind, which... You know, you want everyone to think that way, but here he is as a true freshman bringing up different scenarios in the game and he's playing the game. And, uh, and that's what's allowed him to, you know, have uh, the opportunity that he does right now. So uh, he's competitive, he's smart, and uh, he's going to continue to get stronger. But has it surprised you at all that with the injuries and having to move some guys around and some new guys put in, that the cohesiveness has, has pretty much not fallen off at all? Yeah, you know, I... I Again, I, I think that's the group working uh, together. Um, you know, things, you know, going through the spring, through the fall, and, 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 you know, we often stress to them that, hey, you know what, at some point somebody's going to be called on in another position. You know, you never want this, things to happen that have happened. But um, I think the guys have really uh, answered to that well. I think the leadership has been really uh, outstanding with the guys saying, hey, you know, now's your time. And the thing, again, with Jack and Chance being here, and this is what most people need to understand, is they were here in the spring, okay? And, and it allowed them to have a chance to grow with the unit uh, that much more leading into the summer, leading into this fall. So the other part about Jack and Chance that has been, um, you know, it's been exciting is they really don't want to let the older guys down. None of them do, but these guys really have invested the offseason lifting with them in the, in the, in the springtime. They've gone through a spring ball. So uh, there's a lot more... Uh, for them that they want to prove to Kyler Kerbisons and Matt Crowders and all that. So, um, you know, they're, they're, they're putting a lot on their shoulders and they're answering to it, but I think the leadership is helping. Seeing some of the guys go down and, and the other young guys step up and, and fill some spots, where are guys like Charles Mosley and Denzel Boulware and stuff, where are they at in their development? Has this kind of maybe kick-started them to work a little bit harder? Yeah, and, it, you know, with both, you know, Charles and, and Denzel, and Drew, I mean, really, you can lump those three guys together. What people need to understand is, again, uh, Charles was at the D-line mostly the entire spring. And Charles missed an entire year of football. So you're talking about a position where it's the most unnatural task in sports. I mean, it, it just – so from him, you know, where he's at right now, there's no question. He's really working hard to accelerate his learning and his play and so forth. But – I keep reminding myself, and our coach and I talk about it. I said, Coach, he missed an entire year of football. He's he's making progress. We're going to be all right. And then he's he's understanding the game, and, and it's not as far off uh, that you think, you know, in terms of his grasping and so forth. Venzel and Drew are, again, they're freshmen. And people sometimes feel like, well, if they're not playing as a freshman, are they, are they not doing well? They're doing well. This is, again, the toughest league in the country, and it's the toughest position in football and for those guys to come in and play right away at it that's that's asking a lot so uh we're not going to force them into a situation in which they're not completely ready yet so uh they're making strides the future's bright with them uh their attitude and approach and all that and uh it's just it's a timely thing for them coach how hard is it for kids like that that have always been you know this is the man to come in and you know stay motivated when they're not playing they get depressed or yeah. do you keep it keep it's di it's difficult it's difficult when you have guys that uh, have had the success, they've played all the time, and they're at a game and they're on the sideline going, you know, and, and I'm obviously into the game coaching it, but at times I'll look and read some body language and it's almost like they're, what am, what am I supposed to be doing right now? So it is difficult, and it's, but it's a good thing because they want to be out there, they're frustrated, you know, in, in their mind, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, and it's, you're, you're not, just just hang on, let's, let's, let's slow this thing down a little bit and, you know, so, um, but their hand on it. And again, I think the people here and the support here of the players, uh, Anton Davis, Ike Brown, all those the support staff that we have allow guys to really fight through those times. And us as coaches, Coach Jones and position coach, and all that, hey, you know what? You're not the only. They think they're the only ones ever going through. And um, you know, so I remind them that there's a lot of great guys that walked through these through these walls that uh, have actually sat out a year. Coach, you, 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 